The latest coronavirus news. For continuous updates and to find a COVID-19 vaccine or booster near you, check out vaccines.gov. We can weather this pandemic by doing our part to protect each other. So let's stick to what's proven to keep us safer from COVID-19 and its variants. Like masking up in public indoor settings, getting tested before and after traveling and gathering, and staying home if you feel sick. Let's keep our immunity strong. Visit myturn.ca.gov or call 833-422-4255 to find a vaccine or booster near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Next on the Mo Kelly Show. Somebody please explain to Chuck Schumer who the hell so good Marshall was. Also, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominee list is out. The people who keep trying to get in but seemingly can't. And we'll preview the new musical, Howard High, which is airing on Tubi TV with its star, Marcus Houston. Mo Kelly, tomorrow night at 6, KFI AM 640. For stimulated talk. Bill Handel here. It is a uh, Friday morning, February 14th. Fourth, excuse me. And uh, the Olympics have started. Opening ceremonies are over. They, I think they went a couple of hours. Uh, and usually they can go longer than that. And when the Chinese do opening ceremonies, boy, do they do it. And you can see that tonight. We play on uh, NBC, Peacock, and all the NBC stations. We're going to be watching that as most of us are. Uh, mask rules are a change. And L.A. County is probably the most conservative county in the country when it comes to uh, mask mandates. Arguing that mask mandates uh, do, well, first, vaccines do the most, uh, give you the most protection. And then you add that to mask mandates. Uh, then you add that to social distancing, and you've got about as much protection as you can. Well... Uh, it's going to change as our COVID stats improve, and they are improving. And we've talked about uh, how various regional parts of the country are getting COVID, and then the COVID uh, hospitalization rate, death rate, positive case uh, rate drops. Masking is being removed, and L.A. County is right in the middle of that. Also, it's so confusing because the CDC changes its mind every two minutes. And so... Uh, once the county enters a post-surge phase, and that is where hospitalization uh, drops to, well, below what it is now, 2,500 for seven straight days, uh, which is 26% below that figure, which is happening this moment, uh, then we're gone with a mask. Are we going to reach it by uh, the Super Bowl? We are not, but probably soon thereafter. And once hitting this trigger of hospitalization and that's the uh it looks like that is the number that uh everybody's really looking at once it hits this trigger health officials uh, will lift the mask requirements at outdoor mega events with at least 5,000 people all of the bowl not the stadium sofi stadium uh, la uh, coliseum uh, and uh, outdoor spaces at child care settings and k through 12 schools Right now, masking, universal masking, is being required in both indoor and outdoor settings at school campuses. I have my mask right here. If this were television, I would show it to you. As soon as I hit uh, the hallway, I wear my mask. So we here are pretty adamant, uh, well, management is pretty adamant about masking and uh, following the rules. And that is the other problem, how many people are not following the rules. L.A. is a masking county. Walk over the border to Orange County, you won't see a mask. It's just a different life. And then you go to the southern states, uh, masks. But what is it, Halloween already? So uh, it's different in every region. It's different in every state. It's different with the Fed requirements and recommendations. And it is different with every city. And we are right there at the top in terms of mandates. And uh, for, uh, Barbara Ferrer, county health, uh, she runs county health, uh, said even wider uh, relaxation, uh, relaxation is going to happen, but still a ways uh, off.
And so right now, uh, well, I'll tell you what's going to happen is uh, you'll actually don't know. Uh, at uh, SoFi, how much mask wearing are you going to see? We talked uh, yesterday about enforcement. So you have 70,000 people in a stadium, and they have no problem checking people to uh, see if they've been vaccinated. Uh, I went to SoFi a few weeks ago. I had to show my vaccination proof, and they wanted full vaccination, not just one shot. Uh, that's easy to control. How do you control what 70,000 people do? If a third of the crowd in the stands take off their mask, now you're going to wear a mask walking in the stadium, and then you're going to sit down and you can take off your mask. How do you control 25,000 people or 20,000 people that are removing their masks? There aren't enough security people on this planet that would do that or could do that without it breaking the bank. So it's a practical issue as well as a legal issue, and certainly a health issue, but uh, that is a, a different story. Uh, we're going to see masking uh, simply the mandate disappearing to the point where we were talking to the general manager of uh, the West Coast here, who runs the entire West Coast of uh, iHeart, and uh, he's wearing a mask, and we're all wearing a mask. And he even said, and it's effectively his decision, and he said, you know what? I don't see a masking requirement in this building or anywhere in California, but particularly L.A. County, uh, lasting too long. said probably within a couple of weeks or several weeks, uh, we're not going to wear masks here. And uh, masks are a pain. It really is. They're one of the hardest things to deal with. Social distancing, eh, I mean, you know, it's, assuming you have to do it, it's not the end of the world. Uh, vaccine, huge controversy. Masking, masking, no, not as controversial other than the politics of it. Uh, not the health issue, except if you're an anti-vaxxer or anti-masker. Uh, but, you know, that's the hardest to do. You can't exercise. Uh, with a mask, imagine going to a gym and you're on a treadmill, you're not breathing uh, with uh, a mask. Uh, it is a different world, but the good news is it's going to go away. And that is what we are told by the head honcho of L.A. County, uh, who runs the uh, L.A. County uh, Health Department. Oh, yeah. Uh, coming uh, up, uh, it's... Um, uh, what, is, uh, what are we going to do? Uh, the plans, uh, let's see. Uh, let's talk about donating blood. All right? Sounds like you already did. I'm sorry? I said it sounds oh, like you already did. Coming. I apologize. That's right. But it sounds like you already did donate some blood and it left your head. Uh, yeah. I did. Well, I think they, uh, I'm confused about where we're going with this. That's the blood thing. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, I apologize for that one. Steve Gregory and Steve is going to take um, uh, umbrage at this. Uh, that I forgot about Steve. We'll be back with <laughs> We'll, uh, talk to Steve coming up. This is KFI AM640 live uh, everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. You can listen to KFI everywhere, like you haven't noticed. KFI. KOSP HD2. Los Angeles, one time. Live everywhere on the Anchor Radio app. In custody. I'm Chris Little, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. An arrest has been made in an attack on a 49ers fan at SoFi Stadium. KFI Steve Gregory reports live video may have helped investigators find the person responsible. Inglewood Mayor James Butts says brainy surveillance video shows Daniel Luna, who was wearing a 49ers jersey, get into an altercation with another man who was part of a smaller group. They were wearing Rams gear. It appears that the injured person Luna pushed the suspect from behind. It appears that the suspect then retaliated by pushing Mr. Luna from behind and then struck Mr. Luna once in the mouth area. And that's when Luna went down and hit his head on the pavement, but spoke about the video last night. Luna was found Sunday afternoon unconscious in the SoFi parking lot. He was taken to a hospital where he remains in a medically induced coma. Reporting live, Steve Gregory, KFI News. The news brought to you by veteran-owned SemperSolaris.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 67,000 jobs in January. That's a figure 
that was better than expected. The country's unemployment rate went from 3.9 to 4% mainly because more people started looking for work, but not all of them found jobs right away. People in L.A. working for the minimum wage will get a raise this year. The hourly rate will go from 15 to 16.04 an hour. That starts July 1st. The mayor's office says this will affect more than 600,000 workers. The city boosted the minimum wage to $15 an hour in 2015 with increases based on the consumer price index. A badly burned restaurant owner in the Huntington Beach is getting help with an estimated $2.5 million in medical bills. The delicious owner, Akira Nakao, says his wife's lower body is covered in third-degree burns. He caught on fire for about that year, three values. About 80% were burned out, and he eventually got a you know, strain uh, at his toe. He says an NFL player eating nearby last month helped smother the flames. A customer started to go fund and drive that reached more than 143,000. The post can be found by searching for help from Ross again. Two women have an attack and ride with a couple of girls walking the school in LA Fairfax District. Video shows the women ran up behind the girls yesterday morning on Melrose. Put them down by the hair and took the cell phone. They say the women held the girls by the hair until they unlocked their phones. The thieves got away in a car with two men. Some Native Americans want bells that mark El Camino Real in California to be history. Getting rid of them erases history. Santa Cruz is the first city along the El Camino Real to get rid of the bell. Deborah Mars, KFI News. It is slow in Woodland Hills on the 101. Stop on side as you're coming away from a bounce of soda that will remain busy for your drive through the city of city area. You will get a bit of relief as you come out of the corner. Uh, oh, 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 as you make your way toward the 133 and then South Orange County on the fine southbound, it's slow going for you right now. Two Laguna Hills leaving Lake Forest Drive and heavy stretches as you make your way all the way uh, toward the Merch with the 73 toll road. Okay, if I in the sky helps get there faster, I'm Nick Collier. The Lakers gave up some big leads to the Clippers throughout last night's game. Both teams short-handed. Things got close at the end, though, until Reggie Jackson gave the Clips this game-winning layup. 10 seconds left as Jackson was across the right to left. Jackson a green to his left. The third man who doubles his face. Puts it up. He makes it in. The Clippers won it. 111 to 110. I'm Wayne Resnick. KFI Sports. We know what you're thinking. Not another mortgage commercial offering me the lowest rate, fastest time to close, or no upfront cost promises that they can't deliver. Hi, I'm David Abellion, founder and CEO of Cake Mortgage, and I'm so confident that Cake has the best rate that I'll bet you a thousand dollars I can beat the other guy's current rate quote. I can pull you in your pocket for just picking up the phone and calling Cake. Best case scenario, you get one of our insanely low mortgage rates, or you pocket a grand. It's a win. But stop whatever you are doing and call right now. Call 877 818 cake You got nothing to lose. You get the lowest mortgage rates available, or Cake gives you $1,000. But you have to act now before rates go up. Call 877-818-2253 or visit CakeHome.com for an instant rate quote. It's a piece of cake. Equal housing lender. Licensed by the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation under the California Residential for Mortgage Lending Act. I can write my education. I can rewrite my story. I can create a future I look forward to. When you enroll at a California community college, you open the door to unlimited possibilities. Whether you want to transfer to a four-year university or earn an associate degree, financial aid and hundreds of career programs are here to help make it all happen. I can do this. It's time to take control of your future. Classes can fill up quickly to enroll today at ICanGoToCollege.com. The KFI Financial Report brought to you by Hank right. James, Ackerman and Clay. Right. It's another group right. day on Wall Street. Right. It's right. down 258 points, S&P 500 off 13. NASDAQ is up 68. The price of a gallon of regular gas in California is 466. <laughs>
Weather in California, weather from KFI, sunny and windy in some areas, highs in the mid-60s to lower 70s. Tomorrow, sunshine, highs in the upper 60s to mid-70s, and uh, we will have a warming trend continuing through next week. Right now, Irvine 57, San Clemente 55, it's 47 in Long Beach, and 54 degrees in West Take command of the road in the 2011 Acura MDX. The 2011 MDX features an all-aluminum V6 engine that is both powerful and fuel efficient. Confidence and poise are expressed throughout the exterior. A confident footprint is created via the 18-inch alloy wheels. The seven-passenger MDX has doors that open yeah, wide okay. for easy entry and exit. The power tailgate opens with a touch of a button. Acura sought the perfect combination of luxury, comfort, and safety in designing the interior. It includes leather upholstery, power front seats, XM radio, optional rear entertainment system, and seat memory. With split folding second and third row seats, the MDX offers a wide variety of passenger and cargo combinations. The available Acura navigation system features a new display and voice recognition system with continuously updated traffic and weather information. Acura also prioritized safety and security by including head curtain airbags, anti-whiplash front head restraint, and four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. The super handling all-wheel drive technology enhances cornering and maneuverability. The rear view camera activates when you engage reverse gear to assist when parking. You can say that. The 2011 Acura MDX. Well equipped and fully capable, this could be the right fit. Robert. Um, uh, his, his name is Ty. His, his name is Ty. 
If you're looking to find a custom truck, look no further than the 2014 Toyota Tundra. Engine size is just the start of options available, ranging from a 4.0 liter V6 up to a 5.7 liter V8. Equipped with a 381 horsepower 5.7 liter V8, the Tundra has a towing capacity of up to 10,500 pounds, enough for any project at home or at work. Toyota perfected each and every component on the exterior surface. Attractive alloy wheels furnish the fenders with style and sporty flair. Top features include a split folding rear seat, leather upholstery, a rear step bumper, heated seats, power door mirrors and heated door mirrors, a trailer hitch, and much more. Audio features include a CD player with MP3 capability and 10 speakers, providing excellent sound throughout the cabin. Toyota ensures the safety and security of its passengers with equipment such as head curtain airbags, front and side impact airbags, brake assist, ignition disabling, and four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. Standard safety equipment includes vehicle stability control, traction control, and smart stop technology. The 2014 Toyota Tundra. With potent V8 power and performance equipment integrated throughout, this truck stands out from the crowd, boasting a diverse range of features and remarkable value.
Today I brush my teeth. Huh? I brush my teeth. To brush your teeth? Yes. Oh, you want to brush your teeth? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that was all right. 